Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. Um, it's been a few months since I posted, I've just been busy with school. But yeah, I'm hoping to post more in the future. Um, so we'll just go look at a couple of new fish in the fish room. I have expanded the fish room a lot. There's a lot of new tanks um, and a lot of things, but we'll get into that in different videos. But yeah, let's just get straight into today's video. So here are some gold guppies. These are a super interesting guppy. They're like kind of goldish, green, blue. They have a lot of different interesting colors. I've been looking for the strain for a while and I just got them locally. It's been, I think, two or so months since I picked them up. I picked up, I think, three trios and I do have some of the ribbon fin gene in there. One thing to note about the ribbon fins is that, like, I think the males cannot fertilize um, the females because if their fins are too long or something. So always make sure to have, like, some non ribbon fin ones if you are um, breeding them at any point. But they're doing pretty good for me. Initially, when I got them, I did struggle a lot with um, the strain. I was really confused. They were like kind of sitting on the floor, not really moving too much. Uh, and I kind of realized that my water wasn't hard enough. So recently, I've been adding a lot of uh, saltwater sand. It's like the Carib Sea coral sand. I, I used to have reef tanks, so I have a lot of that sand kind of sitting around. So I used some of it in, the, in this tank. I just threw a bunch of it in. And they've been doing significantly better now. I've been getting a ton of fry out of them. Um, they're a little bit confusing because a lot of the females always look like they're huge, as you guys can probably see in the video. Um, they're huge and like they don't drop that many fries, so I'm not sure if they're eating them or what the case is. Um, but I do think they're eating a lot of the fries, so what I do is sometimes I try to separate the females out and get some fry. I do have a lot of fry in a different tank. I probably got 30 to 40 or so fry out of these guys so far. And then once the fry are big enough, I reintroduce them back into this tank. As you guys can see, there's probably a couple fry that have been swimming around. But these guys right now are just munching on some the spawn and grow by rapashi uh, i really actually like this food initially the fish weren't super interested in it but i've been feeding it a, a couple more times and all of my fish absolutely love this food and it's super great for the camera because all the fish just come straight to the front and start looking at or uh, munching on the food and which is right next to the camera so these guys have been doing well i hopefully will grow like a huge colony of these i think it would be awesome if i just had like 50 60 100 fish in this tank just swimming around they're all gold i think that would look awesome so in this tank, I also have some pogo stem on health rye. This is one of my favorite plants and I've really struggled to grow this plant. I've tried putting in some of my other tanks, but a lot of them are softer water. So I've tried putting it in some of my bigger tanks, but that, those, all those tanks have fluval shrimp stratum for like a pistos and rams and different stuff. So it hasn't done well. I just picked this up. Like it's, I think it's been two or three days since I put it in the tank. So hopefully this will do better in this tank. I'm really, really hoping because I love the look of uh, pogo stem and health rye. This is super interesting. The crinkled leaves, like it just looks awesome. So I'm really hoping that this plant does well in this tank. And I think it will. This, this tank does get a good amount of light, as you guys can tell by the amount of algae and moss that there is in here. So I'm hoping that it does well. And we'll probably update over time as this plant continues to grow. I also have a bunch of golden back shrimp in here. Some of them don't really have the golden back. Um, I picked them up locally from uh, one of the people that I know here. And they're pretty nice. Like I like the strain. Some of the golden back ones are really nice, but they do have good yellow coverage. I think most of them are almost fully yellow. They are very difficult to film. They're always hiding in the um, moss and algae, and they're always munching different stuff. I probably have 15 or 16 in here. It's been, I think, three, two to three weeks since I put them in, and they've been doing good so far. I haven't got any babies yet. Obviously, it's too soon for them to be fried, but I do expect that I'll have a lot of these guys in the future. One interesting thing, thing to note is that the guppies don't even go after these at all. They look at them, and then they just go away. I think I feed the guppies a lot of food, so they don't really worry about the shrimp which is interesting because i feel like the guppies are eating their own fry so i'm a little bit confused on that that part of it but yeah this tank has been doing good and i'm really happy with the progress i'm hoping to do, continue to do updates on this as we go along and i expect there to be a lot more fish in here over the next few months so here's a 20 gallon tank this is one of my tanks in the garage it's part of the new fisherman expansion um this is just a this is a standard 20 gallon with pool filter sand and RO water I was trying to do an experiment with breeding the Corys. I'm starting to really love Corys. Um, I've been getting into them a lot more, so I want to buy some more varieties like Similis, and like I bought some Schwartz Eye recently, and I really like my Agassi Corys. But anyway, I wanted to do an experiment with breeding the Corys. So I originally had three huge female um, albino Corys. I didn't have any males. Uh, I just ended up with three females for some reason. So, and they're really old. I think I've had them for two years. Like I've had them for a really long time. So I picked up some male Aeneas quarries recently. I think it's been like a week or two since I got them. Uh, oh, probably a, a week or two. So I picked them up from my friend. He he breeds some quarries as well. So I got those from him. And then uh, I put them in this tank. 
and uh, I used a bunch of RO water to try to like uh, condition them to spawn. I was feeding them a lot of the spawn and grow uh, that you guys saw the guppies eating and the cores are also eating and I used some blood worms. And then within like a few days after I got them there, they spawned, there was like a hundred, more than a hundred eggs. I was really excited because I'd never really bred cores before. So I was, and I was also very surprised that they bred so quickly. Um, but it makes sense because the females I've had for such a long time, right? So it's, it's pretty easy to, especially because it's really easy to spawn albino cores. So they did well. I pulled probably a hundred or so eggs out and I threw them in some of my German blue ram breeding boxes and my angelfish breeding boxes. So most of the eggs fungus, unfortunately, I didn't really, uh, think this through correctly so I, I should have what I should have done is probably set up like a different box with very high airflow and use methylene blue and made sure that the eggs didn't all fungus so next time the Cory's breed I'll be doing that just to get some numbers out but I think I probably got 10 to 20 or so to hatch I'm hoping so that'll be interesting to see how to raise them up um yeah I'm just trying to learn how to breed the Cory's I've been super interested in them in them lately and I've been looking at a lot of the rare types so hopefully I'll be getting some in the future but we have to see also in this tank, I have uh, a male koi betta. This is going to be part of my betta breeding experiment as well. I picked up three of these. So I have um, this male koi right here. I have like another female koi. And then I have uh, some random like other uh, interesting looking betta that I just picked up. So they're in different tanks. So this is going to be another experiment I do in the future. I also have my rams in here, a pair of my long fin electric blues. Um, this is one pair, a very young pair that I just held back. I really like the finage on the male and they were pretty nice. So I just held them back. This, this is going to be a future breeding pair. Um, they have spawned, I think a couple of times now, so I'll be pulling fry from them in the future. Um, but they're doing great. And this is kind of how they look if their fins aren't always uh, bitten off. Like for me, one of the main issues with these veil tail fish, and I think veil tail fish in general is a lot of the other fish just nip the fins off. So a lot of my other pairs have got like very short fins. Um, because they've been nipped off but this this male for some reason hasn't been nipped so he's doing really well I'm happy with uh, how he looks he's doing great and yeah I also have some Pseudomagill Gertrude R2s in here so these are really cool rainbow I used to breed them a couple years back I really really like this strain that the the flaring behavior is really interesting and then their courtship and the male sparring is really cool so I've been conditioning these guys as well uh, honestly they're ready to spawn I think they spawn every day in the tank so I just got to pull them out move them to a different tank and then uh, raise a bunch of fry out of them. Yeah, I'll probably make a video about that as well. Um, I've been uh, collecting a lot of different rainbow species, so I have a lot of interesting ones. So we'll be doing a lot of breeding projects with uh, the rainbows in the near future. Now here's another breeding project. These are the Epistogramma abacaxis. Um, yeah, these have been a real struggle for me. Um, I picked up, I think six juveniles quite a while ago it's been it's been a while since i've got them so i had three pairs i have two pairs left unfortunately i lost one female and one male one of them jumped out and then the other female i'm not sure what happened but i have two pairs left so in this tank i have one trio so i have one male and two females now they spawn all the time um my issue is always hatching the eggs it for some reason just doesn't work for me I, i'm not sure like this tank is pure ro water i use pool filter sand there's almost no hardness in the tank uh, so I'm not sure what the problem is now. I've added these catapa leaves and there's tons of tannins in the water So I'm really hoping that I can figure this out soon because they're a pistol. I really love I love how they look and No one like it's very hard to find them Which I guess makes sense because they're so difficult to breed, but I've had a I've had a really hard time finding them. So Hopefully in the future if any of you guys have any tips for breeding them like please uh, let me know in the comments like it's been very difficult for me so far and I also have some Bridgette Rasboras in here. I think they're like uh, the small, I'm not sure exactly which variety they are, but they're really interesting. Um, I'm hoping to breed them soon. I have bred them in the past. I didn't get that many fry. I think I got like five or 10 out of them, but they're not that difficult to breed. They really like the tannin water with low pH. So maybe I'll do uh, a video in the future about how to breed uh, these Rasboras because a lot of people always want to know how to breed chili Rasboras and all these micro Rasboras. So Maybe I'll do some breeding projects with those in the future, but they're not that difficult in my experience. Uh, the fry are really easy to raise. Uh, you just throw them with them, some shrimp tank or something with a lot of infusoria and then they do well. But yeah, um, these guys have been doing good so far and uh, I'm hoping in the future I can breed these epistles. I'm gonna keep trying. It, it's been uh, a rough time for me, but uh, I'll soon hopefully figure it out. And if I do, I'll share it with you guys and hopefully you guys will have a lot more luck than me on the epistles. But yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. Um, 
If you guys like the video, obviously comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, definitely let me know. Um, if you have any tips, <laughs> anything like that, I'm always open to learning new things. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.